Hello and welcome to Spin Uncut Movie Reviews. This week we are talking about Black Cat, we are talking about Project Almanac, and we are talking about The Wedding Ring Her. Okay. Mm okay, so we'll start it with Black Hat. Yes, Black Hat is the latest one from Michael Mann, who used to be very good back in the 90s and in the 90s, has been not that great. No. It stars Chris Hemsworth as a uh, hacker who's taken out of jail, not unlike Sean Connery in The Rock, Ooh. but to break into and find out exactly the cyber terrorist who has caused a nuclear meltdown in Asia and has also risen the stock prices of soy and it's all part of his master plan which I'm not going to give away but when you find out what it is you're like that, that's it that's okay. it right. that's that's the that's, that's your nefarious plot. Okay, I was really, really, really hoping that this was going to be... Because I love Michael Mann. Mm -hmm. I love Heat. Heat is like my number one film of all time. The Insider, Collateral. These are all fantastic films. Even going back further, going to like Thief and Manhunter. Like, he's a brilliant director. But yeah, the last two films he did were a bit meh. But I was really hoping this would be good. Yeah, because Michael Mann doing cyber thriller... That should work. It, like, that, on that, paper, that sounds great. Yeah. But... It's no good. It's no good. The performances aren't great. The plot drifts back and forth between very confusing and just outright boring. Um, there's a few shootouts in it, but like when you've seen the shootout he did in Heat, and then you see what he does here, like how then, is this even the same person? Yeah, I yeah, and like the whole thing that he keeps using digital cameras, it just makes it look like he filmed it on this on this camera that I'm using right it now. It doesn't look as good as this. It looks like he, he had this little phone. Go, go along there, Thor. <laughs> okay, you run. <sighs> Cut. Did you get that? <laughs> and there's a part, there's a part in it where, well, there's a lot of parts in it where the dialogue does not match the mouth moving. The way we are doing it right now? Yeah. We're doing it on purpose, but he seems to think it's okay. It's almost like it's a kung fu movie or something, isn't it? Yeah, but considering a lot of it's set in Asia. Does that make it, does that make sense, perhaps? He tries to just do something different with, with hacking because it's very difficult to make that look interesting. Yeah, it is. It is just essentially someone sitting on a keyboard. But remember, hackers though. Yeah, or swordfish. Yeah. Just get Halle Berry boobs out and then, and then nobody cares about the hacking. He didn't, couldn't even do that. All he does is get Chris Hemsworth to take a shirt off a lot, which is fine. It's not the same. Four out of ten. Project Almanac. This is a found footage, uh, kind of like Chronicle, which we both really liked, mm -hmm. I think. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so we were coming to this with reasonably high expectations, I think. You know, I think it could be something interesting, time travel, but with that footage. No. 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 The plot involves a group of teenagers who discover a time travel machine and use it to go back in time to kind of groundhogs day themselves into being rich and into, you know, making the people they're in love with fall in love with them or sort out any of their bullying issues and blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's a good idea for like a wish fulfillment, but look how wrong it can go when you misuse it kind of idea. Except it's so incredibly lazy and misogynistic. And... Misogynistic, really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, half the half the, the cast are female. Yeah. But the camera still is all like, Ugh, look at those legs. And they're like 16 or something. And they're all like, ooh. Like real Michael Bay slow-mo panning up shots, you know, like from Transformers. This is produced by Michael Bay, so I think we know where that came from. Probably the worst film I've seen this year so far. Um, there was whole long sections of it where I did just the bay. I was like, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. So gonna do it. She's like, I'm done. And it would have been my first walk out of the year, but I, I stuck through it uh, just to properly review it. <laughs> you're a trooper. You're a goddamn I know. trooper. Or I know. I know. I know. Uh, two out of ten. Really, really bad. Sorry. It's the best of these three. Slightly. It's the wedding ringer. Yeah, Kevin Hart plays a roguish entrepreneur who runs a very, very distinctive business. Basically, he hires himself out as a best man to anyone that doesn't have a best man. Uh, when Josh Gad gets married to Kalu's Kuoko Sweeting, basically you're one from Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. Or if you're of a certain age, remember Eight Simple Rules to marry my to Eight Simple Rules to date my teenage daughter. Remember so that? Big Bang Theory. Fine. Um, he's getting married to her and they're planning this big massive wedding but Josh Gad for whatever reason and it's explained in the film but it doesn't really make any sense to be honest he doesn't have any friends so he hires Kevin Hart to round up seven bridesmaids or seven groomsmen for him 
and it's all about him trying to, you know, connect with Kevin Hart and the two of them, you know, slowly become friends, even though Kevin Hart is a lone wolf and he does not make friends with anyone. He's got his walls up. Walls. He's not here for bromance, he's no. here for work. It's, it's Hitch. Yeah. It's The Wedding Crashes. Mm -hmm. It's... I Love You Man. I Love You Man. It's a lot of comedies you've seen in the last 10 years, all just kind of, yeah. there you go. Um, not an original thought or joke to be found within the whole thing, but yeah, it's still kind of just like brainlessly enjoyable. It's yeah. just like, yeah, it is. There's a lot. There's a lot of like, aren't all these women crazy? Every yes. woman is a potential bridezilla, or every every gay man is is like the the butt of a joke, mm. and then a butt of a different joke. Mm -hmm. Even though I did use the word butt twice when referring to I, it. I didn't. I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna. It's still it's, it's, give it a five out of ten. Yeah, it's five out of ten. It's the perfect airplane film. That's yeah. Even though they probably cut all the swearing out because you're on an airplane. True. Why do they do that? I just don't enjoy swearing on planes. I do. A swear plane. That's. I'd watch that film. I'm writing. I'm writing the script right now. It's full of f words. If you want to be in with the chance to win IMC Cinema Passes this week and the chance to go to an advanced screening of the new Will Smith film, Focus, all you have to do is leave your name, the name of the person you want to take to the cinema with this week. So, Rory, who would you take to the cinema this week? Chris Hemsworth. Because he's Thor? Yeah. Goddamn. That's it for this week's edition of Spin Online Uncut Movie Reviews. Make sure you check back in with us next week. We've got a much better week. We do. Week. We do. We have what could potentially be the best horror movie of the year. It follows. We have Will Smith's crime con thriller focus. We have the second best Marigold Exotic Hotel, I think I'm saying the name. Yeah, right. I haven't seen the first one, but I assume it, it was pretty good. And we have the one I'm so excited to see. Jennifer Lopez seducing her teenage neighbor oh. in The Boy Next Door. Uh, if, if anyone, just look up Boy Next Door plus original book, and you will see why I'm so excited to see the rest of this film. Till next week.